Hey guys, Keelan here. I've been asked to um, give my opinions on a the SOPA bill and the PIPA bill. Now I tried making a video before and I just ended up rambling on so I'll try and stick to the point. Um, this is completely unscripted, I don't believe in scripts because they always appear false and they always appear to be far too, I don't know, constrained. So I, I really don't like to script anything I do. Uh, I don't believe in it. That's just my style. Anyway, so SOPA and PIPA. They, you may have seen some videos of people saying that uh, major victory has been scored. That they are backing down from the bill. Uh, they're going to remove the DNS uh, from the bill. And they're going to remove some other things. But uh, what I have to say basically is don't believe a word of it. Um, yeah, they may remove certain bits from the bill, but you can be sure that they're going to add in something else, uh, but more sneakily. Um, basically, the legislation as it is, it, I am surprised at the current le legislation that it is as open and simple as it is. Normally, they're worded very difficult. Um, how can I explain this? They they word it in a way that's ambiguous. They word it in a way that's really kind of hard for people to understand. And they do this on purpose to confuse you or to bore the pants off you. They do it on purpose because they're guaranteeing on you not caring about it. They, everything depends on you not giving a crap about it. You know, and that's what they want. And they have mm, kind of achieved it, but it's kind of backfired. Um, the first draft was far too um, dangerously worded, basically. So there are, you know, people naturally, when they read that, and they could actually understand it, were upset by it and uh, rather worried by it. And, of course, that caused a huge backlash that we've seen, um, because essentially what they're trying to do is trying to censor the internet. And I can't think of anything more important to talk about right now than that, and everybody should respect that, and everybody should be involved in talking about that. Um, the only reason I've held off is because my audience is relatively small, and I've been supporting things from behind the scenes, such as signing petitions and stuff like that. Um, I've been doing everything I can to help support uh, our American friends in their fight and the struggle, uh, you know, because what, what affects America pretty much affects the world. So, you know, we're all with you um, trying to fight this thing because America is really going down a very dark path right now uh, with the NDAA, which got slipped through. This is why I'm saying be very wary when they say they're going to back down and stuff. Uh, or if the White House says that they're not in favor of SOPA. This is the same White House who signed the NDAA Act, which allows the imprisoning of U.S. citizens forever. No trial, no jury, nothing. You can get arrested in America and get taken away to Guantanamo Bay or wherever they want to keep you forever with no trial. And this is the free America that is supposed to be free. Um, so yeah, don't believe anything they tell you basically. Um, be ever vigilant, uh, read up the next draft. There's going to be another draft coming through because they've spent their money. The only reason SOPA and PIPA exist is because the music industry and the films industry, etc., they've paid for this. Uh, most legislation now isn't for the people, it's for companies. The government no longer represents the people. You have a vote, yes, but your vote is manipulated by whoever's got the most money. That's not a fair and democratic system. A fair and democratic system is a system where it doesn't matter how much money you have, it matters what you plan to do, and how you plan to do it, and how qualified you are to do it. It's got nothing to do with how much money in advertising you've got, but at the moment that's exactly what it's based on. And that's ridiculous, but anyway, I go off topic a bit. But back to SOPA and PIPA, uh, essentially, uh, if you want to know what's going to happen, basically look what happened with music. Uh, when, when they got powers to take down music, they took down all music, even, even music that got 
put in the background of videos. They would take down someone's video simply because they had music on in the background. That's ridiculous. You know, humans like to share music. Humans like to listen to music. We don't have to, we don't want to have to worry about, you know, what music we have on in the background. We don't want to worry about, you know, if we have a clip in the background or the TVs on in the background. We don't want to have to worry about that because it's ridiculous. And the reason why it's ridiculous is that DVD sales and CD sales don't amount to a huge revenue. They just don't. They are a small part of the revenue of the entertainment industry. Most money is generated from the actual venues, so when you go to concerts, when you go to movie theaters, uh, when you see stuff live, that's when they make a huge amount of money. And actually, they make the money from that. They could survive perfectly well on that. Now, DVD and CD sales and stuff, they just line the pockets of shareholders. That's all they do. They don't pump any more money into developing the quality entertainment. No, it all goes to rich people. All that money that is on top, you know, the high price of games and stuff, all goes to rich people. That's what it's there for. It's to line the pockets of the rich people. They'll tell you it's development costs. They'll tell you it's whatever you want to hear. It's, it's complete lies, I'm afraid. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. You know, yeah, I'm sure some companies do need more money to develop stuff, but uh, I haven't seen a vast improvement in, in the quality of stuff in recent years. I don't know about you, and yet the price of stuff is going up and up and up. Anyway, so anyway, Soper and Peeper are going to be coming back under a different name, perhaps, or they're going to be slightly changed, but don't you believe that anything is really going to be achieved with that? So what I tell you is to be vigilant, keep supporting the anti-SOPA, anti peeper websites, and anyone who's trying to oppose it, support them with everything you've got, pretty much, because this is about our freedom, essentially. Uh, I know it's, that sounds dramatic, and you might be like, nah, it's only music, it's only games, it's only, you know, but if you think about it, it's the free expression of people. It's the amendment, uh, I think it's the First Amendment or something in the US. It's like a basic human right that they're trying to censor. They're trying to take it away from us. And I can't express how vital that is for all of us who have already had uh, so many of our rights taken away recently uh, with the terror threat. You know, this terror boogeyman that they keep trying to scare us with. And they keep taking away our freedoms one by one. Why are they doing it? They want more money and they want more control. It's what it's all about. It's what it's always been about. And they lost some of that control and they lost some of that money and now they want it back. And the people don't want that. The people want to be free. They want to be left alone. And they don't want any trouble. They don't want to have to fight. They don't want to have to, you know, deal with this bullshit. And the fact that we have to deal with this is just a shame. It's a real shame that they actually are pushing us back towards war. They're pushing us back towards losing our freedom. And uh, we have to stand up and say, no, the people are in charge. You may not think so, but we are, really. And, you know, it's been a, a veritable decline in government, basically. Government no longer represents the people, they represent business and represent the 5% five, five of you know, billionaires, basically. And um, that's not right. We know it's not right. That's not a fair system. The world is not fair, we know that. Uh, capitalism is failing because there is no competition. Big companies have screwed the competition. Innovation suffers. We all suffer, you know. And SOPA and PEEPA are just a symptom of the problem. And the problem, they say, is piracy. Piracy is probably the least of our worries right now. Uh, the main problem is money men controlling everything. And they seem to be insane, from what I can see. That's the only way I can explain it. And... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, um, piracy is the last thing we need to worry about right now. And, uh, piracy is just a symptom of high prices. And they, they can argue against it all you want, but nobody steals because they want to. There's about maybe 5% of all people who steal who actually want to steal stuff. 
Now, I'm not saying piracy is okay. I disagree. I think you should support game companies. You should buy games. I buy as many games as I can afford every month. Uh, but the reason why people download stuff is because they can't afford it. There's no other reason. Don't believe the lies. There's no other reason why people download stuff other than they can't afford it. And the reason why they can't afford it is because they're charging $60 for a game, $25 for a DVD, you know, $15, $20. You know, the prices vary, but they're far too high for what you get. Ch chances are what you get is a lot of rubbish. Um, there's so many bad games, bad DVDs, bad CDs. You don't know what you're getting, basically, when you buy stuff. You should have some kind of preview. They've done away with a lot of game demos. They've done away with a lot of, you know, decent DVD previews and stuff. So you can check the movie out before you try it, you know, before you buy it. So I believe in try before you buy. So they've done away with all of that. And they're surprised what people want to try it before they buy it. And that's how, why they turn to piracy. It's because they've taken that away from us, basically. Because they're worried that we'll find, discover the truth, which is they're trying to sell us a crappy product. And, uh, you know, it's, it's just ridiculous, it really is, that they keep on trying to push new legislation, thinking that's going to solve the problems. It's not going to solve any of our problems, guys. Um, so yeah, if they want, if they really, really wanted to stop piracy, all they need to do is cut the price, and the price is far too high. Uh, if they cut the price to what it should be, which is about fifty percent off, if you cut the price by fifty percent, guess where the money comes off? It comes off the shareholders, who have far too much money already. They really do. They've got so much money; it's it's just obscene. The amount of money they have. They have billions. They don't need that money. They What they're going to use it on? Another yacht? Another house? It's ridiculous. What about the people? What about selling a quality product for a quality of price? That is what capitalism is all about. And SOPA and PIPA are flying in the face of democracy. They're flying in the face of freedom. And freedom is the most important thing in our lives, and we must defend it no matter what, guys. So please, no matter what you do, especially if you're in America, stand up and fight for your freedom. And, and never give in, and never let them fool you. They've been caught with this, they've let other stuff get through. And now they've been caught with the soper and the peeper, and now they're backpedaling. But they will be back and watch for them. And when they do come back, be prepared to fight them every step of the way. Because the moment we give up, the moment we surrender to apathy, is when they win. And when they win, the world would be a terrible place. It really will. And it's only the will of the people and the will of the people wanting freedom. That's the only thing that's keeping the world uh, a nice place to live in, basically. Uh, because believe you and me, there's people in the world that want to take that freedom away from you. They want to silence you. They want to shut you up. They want to make you a good little drone working in a cubicle somewhere to make them rich. And that's the world we live in right now. That's our reality. And we don't want to face that reality because it sucks. And we want to have fun and we want to live life and we want to be free. And they're trying to take that away from us with these SOPA and PIPA bills. That's what they're doing. That's what it is. It's anti-freedom. It's anti-American. It's, you know, it's just not something we want ever. Uh, if you want to defeat piracy, make stuff cheaper. That's all you have to do. And we need to tell them that the only reason people steal is because they need stuff. You know, they need... You know, people say you don't need leisure stuff. You do. You need leisure stuff. You need movies. You need TV shows. You need entertainment. You need to exchange free ideas with people. And we need that in our lives. It's almost as important as food or water. Okay? It's a basic human right to have entertainment. Okay? It's a basic human right. And nobody should ha be able to take that away from you. Okay? Nobody. Nobody has the right to take away your fundal human rights and freedom of speech, freedom to entertainment, and a, ch a reasonable price for a product that's good quality is your basic human right. 
So don't give it up for anything. And don't believe what they tell you. Be skeptical. Ask questions. Read the fine print. And expect them to always try to be fooling you. Okay? Sadly, our government is no longer our friend. They are our masters. They are our keepers. That's what they are now. They don't represent people anymore. So they're not a government on for the people. So if the government's not for the people anymore, you can bet your bottom dollar that they're not working in your best interests anymore. Okay? So you got to watch out for those guys. And bottom line is never trust anyone who's rich and desires power because chances are they are corrupt and a corrupt human being is the worst dregs of the earth the scum of the scum lowest of the low and are you gonna tell me you really trust that kind of person if you do then well good luck with that but for all of those with an open mind and a half a brain cell Keep up the good fight, and uh, yeah, that's what I feel about Soper and Peeper, guys. Sorry about the rambling, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Keep on gaming, and keep on having fun, guys.